Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Crosby, throw me a straight line and let's get this egg rolling. Greetings, uh, Sue, from Edgar Bergen and my little helper, Charlie McCarthy. Oh, how are you speaking? Yeah, well, Frank Sinatra, George Burns, and Groucho Marx. Who's playing third base? Why do you insist on putting who on third base? What am I putting on third? What is on second? You don't want who on second? Who is on first? I don't know. Third base! They are voices of an era long gone. An era of vaudeville houses and movie palaces. Decades ago, hundreds of these showbiz shrines played host to full houses of captivated audiences throughout the Delaware Valley. But today, in South Jersey, only one lives on. Built in 1926, the Broadway Theater of Pittman was a place where every night patrons were whisked away to another world. It was a magical building where the show didn't just take place on stage. A place like this is really unique because it is built so that the atmosphere of the theater itself takes you to another place. You didn't have to leave town to see Broadway. All you had to do was go to Broadway Theater and you were in a different world. In its early life, the Broadway was the destination for theater goers in the area. This was, in this area, the premier theater for vaudeville. There's an amazing array of who's who that played the Broadway theater. People like Bob Hope, Bing Crosby, Dorothy Lamour, and Edgar Bergen, and Charlie McCarthy. You wouldn't have a lot of empty seats because this was the show place that attracted a higher element of entertainment. Nearly every night, the theater came alive with its mighty Kimball organ providing the soundtrack. It certainly was a powerful instrument, and uh, it could overwhelm the theater uh, with its volume. And many folks came to the theater just to hear the organ. To this day, the Broadway's Kimball is the only remaining original theater pipe organ in New Jersey. As vaudeville gave way to movies, the Broadway changed with the times, and new memories were made. As I grew up here as a kid, Saturday matinee was a happening here. Every kid, all the kids in town went to Saturday matinees. Every neighborhood had their own little section to sit in. Ours happened to be the row right in front of the organ. And I can recall that my grandfather, when it got too wild and crazy in the theater, would stand up on a seat and pretty much just go, quiet! And suddenly the whole theater would be completely hushed. But kids being kids, the minute he walked back up the aisle, the uh, roar started all over again. And as we got into high school, of course, we spent a lot of time in the balcony with our dates. So it was, uh, I probably still have initials carved in one of the seats up there. When everybody left, I'd run up on stage, you know, and pretend I was an actor. My first date with my wife, uh, we came here, and of course, we'll be married 50 years in May. I worked here in 1963, I was an usher. And I used to come up here and uh, all my buddies were in the balcony and they used to throw stuff at me and all. Probably one of the best memories I have is actually sitting in this balcony right here, this box right here, watching my bride compete in the Miss Pittman pageant. And then they had all the country shows. They had Johnny Cash, the Oak Ridge Boys, the Statler Brothers. And no one forgets the controversy when burlesque returned to Broadway. And now, the Broadway Theater in Pittman, New Jersey is very proud to present, here it is, burlesque. Here you are, Your Honor, you heard it with your own ears. She admits that she's guilty. Now I insist, I demand that you try her. What a wonderful idea. Yeah. <laughs> But after years of struggling to survive, the bright lights on the Broadway marquee looked as if they would go out for good in 2005. The lights of the theater dimming almost seemed to dim the whole town. We're looking at 80 years of history, and to see it going down the tubes was, was extremely sad. There's too much of that, too much disappearing of Americana, and this is part of Americana right here. You know, there's many nights I laid in bed and thought, will I ever see that theater again? The same question was echoed by countless members of the community. Could the theater be saved? 
After a year of the Grand Theater wallowing in the darkness, a native son decided he needed to do something to save the Broadway. I jog in the area three miles every day. My jogging path route takes me behind the theater, through town, and then back in front of the theater. And I started thinking, you know, what if? Peter came to me a few months ago and said a theater was in need of salvation. So uh, him and I put together a proposal, went to auction one day, and we bought the theater. I thought it was wonderful, exciting. He was in this, 100%. We bought it, we have to do it. We have to do it for the town. The excitement of purchasing the theater quickly gave way to the reality of the task at hand. So the first day I walked in, I'm like, this place has great potential. And I fell in love with the place. After two or three visits, everything we turned to, we're like, oh my god, this has to be fixed. The wall's falling down. Whoa. But the Broadway Theater of Pittman is located in a town of volunteers, and Pittmanites made sure that one of their own had plenty of help returning the 80-year-old theater to its glory. Their mission began one day in late April. I want to thank everybody for coming out. This is the biggest crowd we've had in the theater in a long, long time. <laughs> Signed contract You're from kidding. Tammy Wynette. You know what this is? This is our locking system for the door. Not only did we have 100 people come out the day of the cleanup, they didn't go away. This is just the beginning. This is the dirty work. And now all the, uh, the hard work starts now. For over six months, countless numbers of workers and volunteers have tirelessly given of themselves to restore the Broadway Theater of Pittman. For many involved, it has been a labor of love. Just being involved in the project of the revitalization of it is, you know, it's enough to give you chills. Even just right now, thinking about it, it's a dream come true for me. Everyone putting forth even a small amount of effort is bringing this dream to a reality. We have a list of over 150 volunteers, and we've called them, and it's been just an outpouring. And they just can't wait. They just can't wait for this to open. In August, those dreams came one step closer to becoming a reality, as for the first time in over a year, the neon lights shone bright on Broadway. A bit of magic was back in the Pittman air. The lights in Pittman are brighter tonight. I think the glow in South Jersey is coming from Pittman. It's a full moon tonight, but I think Pittman is still lighting up the sky. Those who have anxiously awaited the return of the Broadway Theater of Pittman will be treated to top-of-the-line entertainment in an unmatched setting. In South Jersey, really, in terms of an operating film stage theater, this is it. Our programming includes live productions. We're going to do six live productions a year. Each one will have 11 shows. We're going to run movies, and we're going to have birthday parties for kids and events for seniors as well. We're going to try to run this thing as much as possible. It's going to be open seven days a week with different events. And having as many subscribers as we have before we even open our doors, that's amazing to me. I think the town will embrace us, but they'll also expect good, solid, entertainment, and I think we can give them that. I know we can give them that. The Broadway Theater of Pittman's reopening will not only breathe new life into this one-of-a-kind building, but it will also signal a rebirth of the unique town it calls home. Pittman has a lot to offer. It's a great little town with a lot of ambiance that, you know, you don't see in a lot of small towns. So the theater just adds to that. All the town people want to see the theater open, which is wonderful. I've never gone into a business before where people have thanked you for doing anything. But I haven't seen anything in the 30 years I've been here that has been discussed, looked forward to, as the revitalization of the theater. This is going to be the focal point of our town. This is, this is going to help make Pittman a destination for people coming in. What I'd like to see is this open and we get a couple hundred people in here every night and on the weekends and people coming and going and, and frequenting the shops in town and bring this town back to life.
this is where life is going to begin again for Pittman, right here. It's right in the Broadway theater.